This is a question answer session on analog electronics and this is lecture number one. We state the first question. Consider the circuit shown. This is a cubic structure, the resistance of each arm being R, where R is 120 ohm. This corner point is P and this corner point is Q. Let us complete the circuit. This is an inductor of L value 10 milli Henry and this capacitor is of value C equal to 1 microfarad. And this is a resistance of value R equal to 100 ohm. And this is power source. This is the switch. Call it S and call the power source E. The switch S is turned on at time t equal to 0. Identify the correct option. Number 1. Equivalent resistance between P and Q is the options are A, B, C, D. And number 2. Time at which current reaches steady value is and the options are A, B, C, D. Let us come to the answer. Consider the cubic structure of resistors. For convenience of reference, let us give names to the junctions. And point Q is connected to the diagonally opposite point P through this battery of EMF V. Current from battery is I and it gets equally divided at point P into I by 3 along PC, I by 3 along PB and I by 3 along PA. At point A there is further equal division of current. So current is I by 6 along AF, I by 6 along AE. Similar division at point B occurs. So I by 6 flows along BF and I by 6 flows along BD too. Currents along CD, BD join and we have I by 3 along DQ. Currents along CE, AE add up to I by 3 along EQ. Also current along FQ is I by 3 as obtained through addition of currents along AF and BF. Apply KVL to path V, P, A, E, Q, V. So we have V equal to I into resistance along V, P which is 0 plus I by 3 into resistance along P, A which is R plus I by 6 into resistance along A, E which is R plus I by 3 into resistance along E, Q which is R plus I into resistance along QV which is 0. So V equal to. Now put V equal to I into equivalent resistance. Hence equivalent resistance R EQ is 5 by 6 into R. With R equal to 120 ohm we have 100 ohm. Let us address the next question number 2. Applied voltage is E which is a direct voltage not alternating. Frequency of voltage variation is omega equal to 0. The reactance of capacitance C is Xc equal to 1 by omega C. With omega equal to 0 it is infinity. This implies that C is open circuit. Again reactance of inductor L is XL equal to omega into L. With omega equal to 0 it is 0. This means L is a short circuit. The given circuit. The equivalent resistance is 100 ohm. Circuit is open here as C acts as open circuit. And L here is a short circuit. Now complete the entire circuit. This is the EMF and this is the switch S. 
clearly we have a complete circuit comprising of emf e and a resistance r equivalent equal to 100 ohm just connected through the switch s clearly thus current reaches steady value instantaneously at t equal to zero so in the question one option b is correct and in question b option a is correct